Welcome to this new lesson of Visual Basic Programming. In today's lesson, we will learn about message box function and the input box function. The objective of the message box is to produce a pop-up message box that prompt the user to click on a comment button before he or she can continue. Now, the objective of the input box function is to display a message box where the user can enter a value or a message in the form of text. Let's go to Visual Studio and look at some examples. Okay, let's start a new project. I'm gonna click New. Pick the Windows Forms application and come here and say message box underscore input box. Okay, and press OK. I'm gonna double click on the button, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy paste. This one here, it's gonna say the following, click here to display message box and we're going to call it btn btn message box okay and this one here we're going to change its name and we're going to say btn input btn input and we're going to change its text to say click here to display input box click here to display input box okay so make this bigger and come here change the form like that select both of these drag them a little higher and I'm gonna double click on the message box button you have seen the message box before, so to uh, display a message box, all you have to do is to type message box, then you press the dot, then you have the method show, and then you open the brackets, and the moment you uh, open the bracket, you get these 20 different ways to use the message box function. There are 21 ways to use the message box function, 4, 5, 6, all the way to 21. And basically the first one, if you see here, number one is a text as string. The text contains the text that will be displayed in the message box. So, for example, here I would say it has to have a string value, as you see here, text as string. So I would type here, welcome to Visual Basic Tutorials. Okay, that's the message I will display to the user. The second argument is caption. So if we come here, we press the comma and here we will have caption as string and basically the caption is the title for the message box so I would say here vb.net tutorials the third argument is the button which is optional and it tells vb.net which buttons uh, will be displayed so here we're going to choose button ok cancel we have all these buttons so we have uh, abort retry ignore we have the message box button ok so we're gonna uh, press this one here yes no okay then the fourth argument is the icon which is optional 
and tells vb.net which icon will be displayed so again comma and if we go like that we can choose the uh, icon and I'm gonna choose the information icon so these are the uh, first four arguments that you can use with the message box function okay let me come here press enter okay let's uh, save this run it good I'm gonna bring this here when I click it okay welcome to Visual Basic tutorial that's my message right here vb.net tutorials that's my caption right here the message buttons yes no are here and the information icon is right here which is this one right here and of course this yes and no right now they don't do anything because we didn't write any code to uh, use these buttons but in future lessons probably we will learn how to add code to these buttons where the user can uh, proceed or you stop him from uh, doing something okay so press here to close this press here to close this and now we will move to the uh, input box function so now I'm gonna come here under the BTN input uh, click event button and I'm gonna say dim uh, student ID as string and we will see equals nothing okay then I'm gonna come here and open my input box before I do that I have to say student ID equals and here I'm gonna say input box okay open bracket now these are our uh, parameters the first one is the prompt and that's basically a message I'm gonna display in the input box it holds a string value so I'm gonna say please enter your student ID okay the second parameter is the title so I'm gonna say here school login uh, box just something to for the example then the third parameter is the default response and basically the default response is optional and it's also a string expression it's displayed in the text box as a default response if no other input is uh, provided then we have the X position and the Y position and these are numeric expressions we will uh, skip those and uh, basically that's it we are gonna come here and click enter so whatever is here I assigned whatever is here to the student ID string okay to this variable here um, so far so good let's run this I'm gonna bring this here click here and this is my input box so now the student can enter his ID for example it's uh, let's say kh a b y 234 for example uh, then click OK and that's how it works this is your uh, input box in vb.net okay I'm gonna close this and uh, with this we come to the end of this lesson I thank you for watching and you have a good day